Caution. Caution. There's not much I have to say about this episode. This episode is called A Streetcar Named Conspired. And the whole episode is about what I said in my Season 5 Episode 1 review. And that is, how are they going to justify Booker staying and not sending him back home with Devon? Alice tells Raven to take him around town and make it seem like he wants to stay. There's some things I want to talk about in what happened in the episode. 1. At the beginning of the episode, Raven is talking to Nia. I like that. That they continue to have Nia involved in the story. Even though you don't see and or hear her voice. Number two. I said in my season five episode three review. I said I find it weird how Booker has become good friends with Ivy and Neil so fast. As Booker is getting packed. Getting ready to leave. He says he will miss them. Raven says just met them a couple of weeks ago. You'll get over it. I heavily agree with that statement. Number three. Alex and Victor continue to bond, and I'm enjoying it every single time. Number four, I don't know why, but Alice and her daughter Tasha are giving me Angelica and Cynthia vibes. Number five, when Booker dipped from Raven was funny. Number six, two Eddie and Chelsea references. I'm so happy. Let's go. If they did go with cutting them out in episode 3, this would have been Eddie's first reference in the show. Lastly, number 7, Booker decides to stay in San Francisco because he has a vision on taking this new character to a dance. They, they, yeah, I can't believe it. They doing the long term vision again, which hasn't happened since season 2. Let's hope that plays out well. Speaking of which, I'm so glad I did not watch that crossover with Bont because they set up a long term vision and that, and which is never going to happen. So I'm glad I didn't watch it. What a waste of space for a vision. Victor knows why Booker decides to stay and he says it's because of a girl. Booker says it's because of the girl. So writers, you're telling me that Booker and Cammy are going to be a couple for the rest of the series. They're the end game. If not, don't waste my time. I give this episode a 7 out of 10. So with that being said, get your fingers up and say it with me. Bye. Attention. Attention. You're damn right I'm the best YouTuber. And thanks for subscribing, Big Bo.